So hello everyone. Welcome. My name is Karina Salisbury. I'm the Director of Channel Partnerships here at Book for Time. Thank you so much for joining our webinar. This is our Book for Time Partner Integration Series. Uh, we're going to learn from one of our incredible technology partners today who they are, how their solution connects to Book for Time, and in turn help you. Uh, today I'd like to welcome Ben Teplitsky from Intelity. We're going to discuss some concrete examples of how you can innovate the guest experience through the use of in-room mobile devices and essentially drive revenue. And so with that, I will hand it over to Ben to dive into the presentation. Ben. Great. Thanks, Karina. Thanks, Sal. Uh, yeah, so um, today we're just going to learn a little bit about uh, kind of digital bookings and mobility across guest engagement um, within the hotel space. and. You know, just kind of go over some some uh, industry um, trends and standards that we're seeing, uh, not only just in you know kind of the hospitality guest experience world, but also how that carries over into spa bookings and engagements and uh, ways to to really um, enhance how you're leveraging your your spa amenities with your guests. Um, really focusing on mobility, um, you know, not just in room, but also a little bit of mobile app engagement and how we do that as well. And just kind of looking at how Book for Time and Intelity work together with their integration and the, the platforms combine uh, for a very seamless um, integration for both guests and staff. So um, I'll give a little bit of overview on, on Intelity. I'm sure you know plenty about Book for Time as well. We can certainly kind of dig into some specifics of, of how we're working together. Uh, but really just kind of talking about what we're seeing out there uh, with trends, especially how that's evolved over the last couple of years, and then go into some specific use cases and how we're, we're doing that. And of course, uh, as mentioned, we leave some time for some uh, Q&A on the back end as well to kind of have an interactive back and forth. Yeah, sorry, Ben, I meant to mention that. So for anyone, if you've uh, got any burning questions, don't hesitate to uh, raise your hand or to um, add the questions into the chat feature. We'll, uh, we'll be able to uh, respond as we go. Great. So, um, yeah, so a little bit about in Intelity. Uh, we are a, you know, hospitality focused platform, uh, very mobile first. Uh, really, we're, we, we really touch all guest services with our platform. Um, we do we, our ecosystem kind of sits on three pillars in a way where it's really the guest side of things, the staff side, and then the connect piece, which is, is really our ability to integrate with other technologies that are in your ecosystem. And, and really what, what we do uh, with partnerships like Book for Time and, and other technologies is we're not necessarily here to replace what you're utilizing on property, but really augment it or enhance it. So we're providing new conduit between the staff and the guests, the guests and staff, and of course, the guests and the amenities, and then being able to do that with uh, innovative technology and dashboards and backends, um, so you can track that, um, really get an idea of who's doing what, how they're engaging with your amenities, and doing that all through kind of mobile first solutions. So what you'll hear about a little bit here is, is not only just a mobile app, so a downloadable branded mobile app for the hotel property, which encompasses quite a few different things, uh, namely, of course, with spa services and bookings. And some of those same features also with in-room tablets. So you're able to engage with the guests not only before, prior to their stay, but as they're checking in and during their stay in a number of ways with, with mobile app as well as in-room tablets um, and, and other features such as mobile web that I'll, that I'll go into. So um, really looking at uh, mobility as, as an overall and kind of the evolution of that, you know, We've seen quite of an uptick in, in the amount of app downloads, the amount of usage when it comes to mobility within a hospitality environment. Uh, a number of different reasons, of course, kind of always the, the cliche lately with contactless and just, just you know, anything that's leveraging um, digital tools and, and, and you know, <clears throat> helping with some, some staffing issues as, as having you know, mobile check-in and mobile key with a mobile app all the way to be able to almost kind of have digital signage as part of your digital compendium in your room with in-room tablets. And these tablets aren't just general tablets that you're, you're typically used to. These are provisioned tablets and the mobile apps are branded and provisioned to the guests. So once they check in and once they're um, part of your hotel, uh, the, the type of content they see and the type of things they can do within these tablets and on these mobile apps uh, is really contextual to their stay. 
Um, and we do that through the integrations with partners such as Book for Time, which I'll go into uh, further as well. Um, as far as industry trends, we've, we've really seen almost a, a double um, amount of app downloads and, and an increase in engagement with in-room tablets. Um, I think, as we all know, you know, the traveler's journey, the guest journey is ever evolving. But as more and more guests and travelers are constantly using online booking and mobile apps for ride shares and airlines, by the time they get to your property, the, it's not just a nicety to have mobile apps and, and technology. It's almost an expectation at this point, especially in some luxury properties. And, you know, there's always been kind of the, the, um, the pushback a little bit. Well, you know, it's all about uh, personal engagement and having st enough staff to do that. Well, what we're finding is not only is there an expectation of technology, uh, but it's also allowing some of the staff members to free up and have a little more time with guests being able to, being able to leverage some of these digital tools on property so that they can actually spend more time with guests and be a little bit more hospitable while leveraging innovative solutions such as mobile app, um, in-room booking, so on and so forth. So, so we're seeing, um, you know, in the last couple of years, of course, we've seen a huge uptick in mobile app downloads, uh, almost like I said, doubling. Um, a lot of that is based on the type of mobile utilities that you put within, uh, things that guests want to use like mobile check-in, mobile key, spa bookings, food and beverage ordering, uh, digital compendium, things that just um, are more of an expectation on property. And then of course, we've seen a huge uptick in engagement with, with certain advertisements of event, amenities and bookings, which I'll show you a little bit more later as well. Uh, of course, both IntelliD and Book for Time always wanna help with your, 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 your status, your, how you're perceived in the industry. And, and um, these type of technology tools have, have been recognized uh, for quite some time as part of like uh, as part of Forbes five-star rating and just in-room technology providers and both uh, IntelliD and Book for Time have been part of that and, and happy to carry that on to the 2022 as well. Um, a couple other things just right off the top that we'll kind of go through is, is, is just some of the, the way we leverage guest engagement. Yes, you'll get, a, you know, there's 98% guest engagement that we're seeing with tools such as, as, as um, mobility and home. A lot of this is based on in-room tablets. The difference there is obviously with a mobile app, um, the guest still has to download the mobile app. There's a lot of different ways that we see in order to do that out there that, that are kind of um, some industry trends of getting folks to download mobile apps. But we're seeing a night across the board about a 98% engagement in um, um, in-room tablets. The, the, the guests of all ages and demographics are picking up those tablets, they're looking at them, using them. And then that, of course, can carry over into some of the intangibles, such as guest engagement, uh, revenue, uh, how it drives revenue with dining and spa sales. And like I mentioned, uh, mobile key and some of the FTE hours um, and just overall engagement tools. So a lot, of, a lot of things, a lot of different case studies out there that we can share after this as well. But just to give you an idea, there's um, a, a certainly an industry trend of how, how, how folks and, and uh, hoteliers are leveraging these platforms. So I'll start off, uh, not to get too technical, but just a little bit of how it works, especially with Book for Time, just so you, you can kind of get an understanding before I go through some of the use cases. Uh, but essentially, a, a, you know, IntelliD is a, a, a cloud-based um, platform that really kind of sits in between all of your different technologies, such as Book for Time. So what we're doing is we're doing a push and pull of data. So we're, we're have a certified integrations, two-way integrations with your PMS, with your POS, with your spa uh, services, such as Book for Time, maybe, you know, POS for food and beverage, um, your, your lock provider. Uh, on site as well. And what we're doing is we're pulling in uh, data and pushing it out at the same time. So when a guest goes to a tablet or a mobile app, they're seeing contextual information based on their reservation, uh, based on any digital compendium, real-time updates that your marketing team or your spa team can, um, can update there through, through our platform. So everything that they're doing is, is uh, contextual to their stay. And then they're able to send that information back through our platform over to uh, like a book for time platform. So if a guest picks up a tablet and sees a digital uh, booking menu of your spa services, they're able to click on that, book it. And because book for time and IntelliD both have the data of that guest, um, they're able to do a seamless um, booking right there without having to speak to anyone or without uh, having to go to the front desk. And that's a great way to not only make it an easier independent tool for them, but it also 
um, leverages, um, you know, kind of that engagement that you're not allowed able to do without these digital tools. So a little bit technical here, but just kind of as an overview, you see here uh, uh, until the, you know, we sit here in the middle of, of you know, your PMS, any ticketing serv servers, if there's entertainment on property, POS, uh, golf, obviously book for time would be your recreational bookings, your spa services. Uh, we're also looking at the mobile key and blue lock, uh, Bluetooth uh, lock vendors as well. And then even being able to do smart room controls, such as controlling the temperature, the drapes, the blinds, um, lighting, all that is, is, is basically where we're, we're pushing and pulling data back and forth so that it really is part of your ecosystem and not just something that they're pulling up on a website as well. So yeah, just um, uh, kind of real quick to kind of go through a few different ways that, that we engage uh, through this platform. Uh, first and foremost, mobile apps. Um, these are branded mobile apps for your property. So you're able to fully brand them with your own fonts, colors. They, you know, when the guest goes to the app store, they're actually looking for your particular property name. It's not a generic app. Um, and it's really a sky's the limit on what you want to put within these apps, these menu options. The same type of things that you're, you're, you would be setting up for mobile apps um, is the same type of thing you'd be doing for an in-room tablet. So if you have digital compendium, property information, you know, pool hours or spa hours, all that is baked into both mobile app and tablet. Um, any sort of optional food and beverage uh, orders, in-room dining orders you'd like to do is all, is all an option. If you don't have in-house in restaurants, you can always point them to local restaurants, so on and so forth, and especially other amenities like spa. So being, having, being able to have a full digital booking menu of, of spa services and book them right there within the app as well. Um, I will pause there. And what we're seeing as probably the main features of this of mobility within a property um, mobile app or, or tablet is really being able to not necessarily just skip the line at check-in, but just have a mobile check-in, have a little more of a digital experience as you're coming on property, uh, having the option to be able to do a full contact the solution, and then you know allowing the guests to see the amenities right there in, uh, in their own smartphones and their own tablets. So being able to, like I said, order food. Uh, they can even uh, stream their own content to their in-room TVs as well. And of course, book appointments, uh, dining appointments, spa appointments. And then the other big piece is service requests. So being able to ask for extra towels, uh, maybe you know a light bulb is out or air conditioning is not working. Uh, so with, with dashboards and tools such as Book for Time and, and IntelliD, not only are there guest features of allowing them to ask for certain things or request certain items, find information out, but on the back end, we're able to see that on a back end dashboard, seeing that uh, a particular guest in a certain room needs this or needs that. You're actually able to track those as work orders, uh, just like if we're making a spa booking, the same kind of thing that Book for Time has on their dashboard as well. So these are some of the main uh, mobile apps and key features that we're seeing out there. Very similar to the in-room tablets, but of course we're not doing any mobile check-in or mobile key with the tablets as those are already in room. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the in-room tablets. We're seeing a ton of uptick in revenue in, in uh, spa bookings and amenities with these. So, so these tablets are, are what we consider provisioned. Um, by that, it's tied to the PMS. So we know which guest, um, what name is there and how long the stay is. So once they check in, it immediately provisions the tablet to their name. It can welcome them. And these home screens on these tablets can have a number of different pieces of content. Um, you know, of course, some welcoming information. It can have informative uh, updates, such as you know, we're cleaning the windows, or or if you're part of a wedding group or a corporate group, it can have a schedule of events. But it always has these menus of different amenities throughout the property, and it's all very real time and customizable for you. And when you really want to leverage your spa amenities, that's where you can have that be on the home screen or a main uh, tab or something to click through. Because when these uh, devices, when these tablets sit on these charging cradles, they're, they're not tethered, they just sit on the, the, the uh, charging cradles and the guests can pick it up and utilize them whenever they want. But when they sit there on their, on their charging cradles, they go through what we call a daydream mode, which is essentially just a piece of digital signage that can just carousel through different content. And whether or not you're, you're advertising a restaurant or a spa booking, and it really can entice the guests to click here for a a facial or, or a, you know, a stone, a cold stone massage or hot stone massage or whatever you is, is something you're featuring that month or especially Valentine's, so on and so forth. So it really is a great way to engage the guests specifically, uh, not just with the general digital compendium. 
Ben, sorry, we, we do have a question here. Um, sure. So can you walk us through kind of the process of um, kind of the back end? So Hamza is asking, is this an app available in the App Store or, um, or, or some other marketplace? Is it connected with the POS to book a treatment? And in, is it a, in a particular time zone? Does it get an online confirmation? And is the payment, how does the payment work? So if you could maybe walk us through that, that would be awesome. Absolutely. So here's just a couple examples of some apps out there um, that that not only Intelity has, has produced, but also some partnerships with Book for Time. But here's the Patina Maldives. So, so this is a branded mobile app that we did for, for them. So as you see, it's very customizable. You'll see that they can control all these different menu options here, um, whether or not it's kind of uh, information about the property or certain kind of uh, things that they can do. You'll see dining options here where they can have all their different dining options, full in-room dining uh, menus. Um, and then just to kind of give you an example here, like in their spa, you, not only can you just book amenities, but also they can go as far as, as actually purchasing spa um, uh, amenities as well, a retail items. So it can be even a, a digital storefront. And to your question, uh, absolutely. So this is a, a branded mobile app in iOS and Android. Um, here's another one as well. Uh, we we you see that the, each one of these has a little bit different look and feel based on on the branding that probably would like to do. And if you don't, you know, you have service requests. If you'd like to, you can have. If you do not have a spa, obviously there's other things in here that people decide uh, elect to to put as first and foremost. But very branded and 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 specific to your property. Um, this property here actually only uses icons, so and kind of some kitschy different things for feed me and, and different requests. So, um, <clears throat> it it is is definitely uh, your own app and branded for you. And then you know from an integration standpoint, as I was mentioning, all these different um, tools and utilities that are built in here have a certifying integration on the back end. So whether or not you're using an Opera or an Info or a Maestro or a Stay in Touch or a Gilesis, that's where we're able to see uh, guest information within the app. And you can even go as far as sending out a notification to your guests when they're due in uh, for a stay where they can just do a single click uh, to, to download the app and it immediately pulls up their reservation and allows them to do a uh, mobile key. So the integrations are very rich um, and, and feature set. So they're, they're uh, based on the different uh, technologies you have on the property. And typically these type of projects, you know, will take about 75 to 90 days to roll out because we're doing integrations, because we're, we're setting up the different branding tools here and, and, mm -hmm. having, the, and having each app look and feel uh, uh, different as well. And then on the back end, you're able to see which guests have, have clicked on what and, and, and uh, different orders, uh, so on and so forth. So um, I will come back over here real quick and just show. And so the app will be on the app store under the property name. Correct. Yep. And so and so you're saying you can in the email confirmation, you could add the link in there so that guests can download before they get there. Yep, a couple of different ways to do that. So uh, on some of the PMSs that we are, it's a single click and it goes straight to a, a, a reservation with a single click. You can add other users as well on, on the reservation so they can have the mobile app as well. Um, and then further to that, if, if not, they can always log in to the mobile app so that, that they can, once they put in their name or their email or their phone number, then it actually with, with this type of integration that you're seeing, it's sending information to the PMS and back to Intelli so that that mobile app and those tablets are, are, are um, contextual to the guest that's logging in as well. Hopefully that answered your question. And then just a couple other um, use cases here, obviously a few different form factors for tablets and mobile app. Uh, another you know, combined partner that we work with is Equinox Hotels and Hudson Yards. And you know, they have a very custom UI for their tablet, but they're even using their tablets as a phone as well for voice over IP telephone, in addition to really leveraging food and beverage and their spa. And they do uh, quite a bit of different uh, spa, different features there at, at Equinox that, that um, we're able to feature in their in-room tablets as well. Um, yeah, so I think that's just kind of the, the overview uh, there. I think, I think being able to, to really you know, see how you're, you're leveraging different amenities, it, it really is kind of up to you guys on, on how you do it. It is a partnership, and by that I mean as much as, as we can provide these tools for your, your uh, team from a spa standpoint or from a management or hotel management standpoint, you also 
are, you know, we task you guys with setting up your own menus and, and just like book for time would do is making sure that your, your, your spa menus are updated and, and um, you know, it's contextual or sorry, not contextual, but it's, it's, it's a real time update. So if you had a new spa feature or something that you're doing for a particular day, it is all real time cloud hosted. So it's something you can go in on our back end in combination with book for time and be able to do real time updates for the guests and be able to communicate back and forth with that guest on any sort of spa services as well. And you can do that via the mobile app or in-room tablet. So uh, a lot of different features here to work with, and I certainly um, can kind of go into some more details or we can go through some more specifics as needed. Great, that's a, it's a lot of information. It's quite a, it's a really um, easy to use and seamless um, application there. I love it. Um, so. Do we have any additional questions for uh, for Ben or for Sal or, or myself on the Book for Time side? Sal, what are your thoughts in terms of um, looking at the industry? Like when you were a, a spa manager, would this have been something that you would have liked to have made use of? Most definitely. Or had you, maybe you did. <laughs> no, I unfortunately did not use Intellidy, um, but most definitely I feel like the app, um, the app and digital concierge industry has really blown up uh, in the past few years before my time as a, or after my time as a spa director. Um, I think that knowing your guests, you know, pre-arrival is something that we're seeing that's so important and being implemented by some of the most prestigious brands and getting that kind of on-demand um, feel for or what your guests uh, are needing during their stay at your property before arrival. And even, you know, post, um, Ben, I'm not sure if Intellity has this capability, um, but collecting reviews um, or just feedback in any way, shape or form. Um, is that something that can be developed? Is that something that you foresee, you know, coming into the Intellity app? Um, you know, the, the, the post service. So, you know, these hotel managers or amenity managers uh, can get a sense for, you know, what's a, what kind of things to kind of implement in the future. Yeah, absolutely. It's something we see quite a bit as uh, just getting service for feedback. And it's not only just getting a star rating, but it really is real time. And there's some service recovery there as well. So you can set up this, the platform, the system to really to trigger a feedback based on the what the guests do. So once they check in, once they get in room, go ahead and send them a service feedback request. Once they're checking out or they have checked out, you can send it to the mobile app. Once they've uh, booked a spa service or ordered a burger or anything like that, you can, you can trigger that. Of course, you don't wanna overwhelm them with too many, but it really is customizable for the property. And it's great to get feedback and responses and four or five star ratings, but also sometimes if maybe uh, something happened there on property, like the food was cold or whatever it may be, one, two or three stars can actually trigger a notification to management or spa management or, or uh, housekeeping. Um, and that's able to do, you're able to do some service recovery real time rather than waiting till the guest checks out and does a review afterwards. So definitely something we see quite a bit of. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, it's, it really is kind of a, a combination of the intangibles of just the extra engagement um, and then also kind of the solution set, right, where you're figuring out a few problems by just having the contactless, streamlining your staff efficiencies. Uh, we're seeing a huge need for that with some low staff uh, out there right now. So being able to have tools like this that help with check-in, help with bookings. And then the other, the other piece is there's some revenue driving in there and there's really is some ROI that we see and, and that's always in the top of mind. But I mean, we have some uh, properties that, that uh, you know, will, will actually recoup the cost by just doing advertisements with breweries and wineries in the area. And in addition to their spa services or something on property so that they can actually get some revenue generated because they have these engagement platforms. So there's a lot of different ways to solve, drive revenue and of course engage. Of course, and I think engagement like this, you know, it, it we're like I said, we're seeing some of the world's most prestigious brands implement things like this only because, you know, um, reduced staffing levels uh, and a lot of people are still wearing a lot of different hats, you know, mm -hmm. even though we're seeing the light at the end of the pandemic tunnel. Um, 
just allowing people to book on their own time, go through a menu on their own time. These types of things are becoming more and more valuable um, only because, you know, packed call centers at a resort um, just aren't either up to staff or back where they were in, you know, 2019. So um, from, from an ordering, from a booking standpoint, this seems to be uh, a very popular route. Uh, ben, I do want to ask you, I know you had showcased one of the more, um, one of the more modern in-room tablets. Um, is there a specific device that a property need, would need to put in room that is strictly licensed to Intellity? Or if, you know, a property has uh, a tablet of their own, maybe 250 of them already, um, could they use those? Great question. So for our platform, um, it is a part of the service. So it's a provisioned tablet that we provide. And don't look at it as much, um, you know, with, within the team as purchase, going out and purchasing tablets. Really, the service kind of comes with that piece of hardware. And here's why, because the tablet has a, a, a specific operating system on it that, that makes it an actual mobility app, right? So it's not just a web browser that you're downloading from the Google Play Store. It's actually an embedded app and, and the tablet becomes kind of part of the in-room solution. Um, so yes, we, we provide the tablets. No, you can't go out and get your own tablet. You certainly could and then download your mobile app, but the, 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 it's not, it doesn't integrate. It doesn't tie to the PMS like that. So it'd be very manual. Um, same thing with the mobile apps. Uh, yes, you can have mobile web links all day long in a mobile, mobile app, but we really try and do actual, you know, custom embedded, uh, web menu or sorry, mobile menus so that it's really contextual to the experience. Uh, so great question there, but really this kind of comes as like a, a service and a package so you can choose to do, just like with Book for Time has different options, you can choose to do a mobile app and or tablets, um, and we provide the, that hardware for you, and of course all the different licensing and, and integrations all kind of comes with that as well. Got it. Yeah, so the big lift on your guys' end is really just... Um, you know, the, the, the kind of content piece, just making sure it looks and feels, you know, pulling content from your website, brand, branding, colors, schemes, and just overall menu options and content. Um, you know, we really do encourage actual doing actual digital menus rather than just, you know, pasting a, P, a digital PDF because then they can really, the guests can really interact with it. So there's a lot of cool things that we recommend that we see out there uh, based on similar type of properties and, and different type of features. And and I think it's important to note here that we're seeing these type of um, uh, platforms installed across a variety of different um, properties. So resorts, destinations, you know, 45, 50 rooms up to 3000 rooms in Vegas. So, it, you know, we, we have a huge engagement uptick in casino hotels where, where we, you know, there's a lot of mobile key, mobile check-in, a lot of repeat guests. And of course, resort destinations, want, even if it's luxury, even if you don't necessarily have televisions all over your in-rooms. And even if you're, you're promoting wellness, the guest still does expect to have some of those tools and some of that information um, you know, digitally come to them. And that's what we're seeing uh, quite a bit of increase here over the last couple of years and, and seeing more uh, even this summer. Well, that's some great information. I don't, uh, I don't believe we have any questions here, um, but uh, Ben, you will be at High Tech in the next few weeks, um, as will Book for Time. So uh, if any of our uh, attendees will be there, then by all means, come by our booth. Do you know your booth number? Uh, yes, 1129, I believe. 1129, and we're at 20, 20, 25? We are at 2125. 21. Right. I should know that. <laughs> I, I think yes, I'm mad so about here, but oops. <laughs> yeah. So by all means, come by our booth at, uh, at High Tech and we'll definitely see you then. And if anyone is interested in a one on one demo, um, please reach out to Book for Time or to Intelligy and we'd be happy to set you up. Um, so on that note, Ben, thank you so much for the information today. We're very excited to be a partner of Intelligy and uh, We'll see what uh, the future brings. So I will see you in person at High Tech. Yes, see you guys in a couple of weeks. Thanks Lovely. again for having me and look forward to working with you. Further. Sounds great. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.